Hi and welcome to uh, Learn How to Weave with Black Diamonds. I'm Courtney Bernard and I'm hopefully going to teach you um, a few things about uh, your beginner's journey to weaving. Um, so you've probably seen videos on TikTok and uh, hopefully here on YouTube. Um, so the point of these videos is to help you understand the basics of weaving um, as an introductory level for your journey in learning how to weave. I by no means though am a master weaver. I'm just somebody who's on that journey myself with learning how to weave. And I think it's probably a good place right now for me to share my knowledge as I learn through this so that I'm not speaking too technical uh, for you and we're both pretty much at the same level. All right, so right here, what I believe in this video we're going to cover is just how to start your weaving. There's a lot of things uh, that you may not have considered when weaving. It isn't just about uh, over and under, over and under. There are a few principles um, that you need to consider and remember when trying to weave a piece. Uh, for example, this piece here may be small, but it covers a lot of the principles when it comes to weaving, how to start, even strands, even amount of pieces, um, straight sides, um, the correct bend on the left or the right, how you use your fingers, how you place your fingers and how they support and how they actually, the importance of your fingers and how they actually help you to create straight and beautiful pieces. So you want to learn how to uh, start this off, we'll get started. Uh, depending on what piece you're going to be using, um, I've just gone out and bought some ribbon. Uh, the, the, the materials can be quite expensive and if you're wanting to use traditional materials then you can. They can be really beautiful pieces and we can do some uh, videos on how to use this material, how to cut the material, where to source the material in future um, YouTube videos. So I'm happy to share that knowledge with you as well. Um, but for this exercise, what I've done is I've just gone to a local shop. Um, we have here in New Zealand, um, Asian shops, which we call them, um, Chinese shop that, that they sell a lot of awesome materials. And uh, that's just where I've gone to buy ribbon. I've made a, a very large two meter by one meter mat just with that gold ribbon uh, that took me months to make. And there was a lot of learning through that. So one thing I just want to share with you is you will make mistakes. Um, the people that I learned from our elders within my family and community and they taught me a lot of how to weave but not in detail there, there are language barriers there and i'm not there every day all day i did learn in the islands um when i go there on two-week holiday or something like that so i'm not as available as what i probably should be i'm um, trying to ask the elders to teach me how to weave so if you are going to make mistakes that's okay don't worry about that because what I find is I love mistakes because that's where I learn the most and every time I start a new piece I'm forever making mistakes but I'm getting better so just remember that when you make your mistakes you're only getting better so the point of my videos is to help you um, manage your mistakes um, so that you're not coming across too many mistakes. So I've got ribbon here. It's a bit thicker or wider the piece um, I've just cut them to equal lengths so that um, If they run out they run out at the same time uh, while I'm creating the piece and Also making sure that I have enough. So this piece here is probably only 300 long 300 uh, millimeters long and I want eight pieces. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And we're obviously going to use one piece at a time. So we're just going to get out one piece. 
And in this beginning part, the reason why I'm splitting up these videos is I'm wanting to actually share my knowledge with you and what I've observed. Um, when I do my weaving, I am very attentive to detail and I think the details are very important. So obviously you're going to have it stretched out. You'll start in the middle. So you just have your piece here, just stretch it out to the middle. Uh, you, hopefully you have your piece there with you. You're not going to complete a piece in this video, but you are going to learn um, the very uh, the importance of how to start your piece. And hopefully if you're watching this in the future, um, months from now, you have all the steps there just for you to go to the next video. Anyway, so the first thing is hopefully you've watched the finger placements. We've always got some fingers on the piece. We are starting in the middle. So uh, just bear with me. I'm just watching through my mobile phone on the screen. So just to make sure that whatever I do is within the, uh, your view. So the first piece is on the left. So just remember left and right. Okay, left, right side, left, right hand, which finger. So you can see here that even though I the work is focused in this area, I'm still supporting the piece with my three fingers on my right hand. Um, you need to get used to using all your fingers and putting them out and reaching like spiders and just working on that muscle memory so that you can support your piece as it grows. Uh, trust me, it's not just the two index fingers that you're going to be using with your thumb. Uh, it's not just up and over. You are going to need to hold pieces down. I haven't used pins, needles or things like that. Um, I haven't been taught to do it that way so I don't I wouldn't know what I was doing even if I did try so I just made do with my fingers um, so the best way is just to learn with your fingers and then if you learn how to do the needles later on at least you got the um, the fundamentals um, done with your fingers first so we are going to use the left hand and we are going to come up so the piece is going to come up and down okay so when uh, I say up, I mean it's coming up towards, up and down, okay? We're going to make that a right angle, and we're going to hold it down and push down with your thumb, and just reinforce that with your index finger, so that you can hold that there. So you can see there that it's gone up and down. Just make sure that you get that right angle there. It's very important for the beginning. And that's the first step of your piece. Obviously, this piece here, we are going to bend as well. And how we're going to do this is we are going to go out and up. So, holding this top piece down with your left hand, using your thumb and index finger, going to come under the piece, we're going to go out, twist, up, okay? So it's really important that you use your thumb to bend it. So, we're going to out and up, okay? Now let's get closer to the piece. Probably come out here so that you can see it better. Back to the beginning. Just going to twist it out and up. Did you notice that my left index finger held it down? <coughs> Excuse me. And that's how it looks in there but you want that to be really close you can just use your thumb just to scoop under it to push it closer use your index finger to pull it down okay there you go and push that down just to make that crease so what you should have now is a piece one piece 
that is folded on itself um, that's going vertical okay that's the beginning so let's start that again we'll just undo the piece just lay it out hold your finger in the middle we're going to use the left hand just to go up and down you could probably use the same creases that you made previously up and down and now for this right side I'm using my left index finger to hold down the fold I'm going to use the thumb and index to twist it out and up use your thumb just to push it closer there you are just push that down okay and there you go and that's the first piece or the first move of many more to starting your piece right now what I want to do is just get into a little bit more detail about what's actually happening here. We've created two strands vertically. That's obviously essential for the weaving of the pieces, for the horizontal pieces that are going to come, and the vertical. So you've now started creating the vertical. But I want you to notice here, this fold here, I want you to pretend that this fold that this horizontal fold here this half of the triangle is coming is a horizontal piece I want you to imagine that it's a horizontal piece so if I just get another piece of material ribbon and I just slot that underneath that's how you need to imagine it imagine that little triangle as a horizontal piece the left vertical strand you can see is going over the horizontal and the right vertical strand imagine is coming under okay so that's that that's that's really important so that little triangle piece here is your first horizontal it may just be a triangle of the one piece but it's actually plays as your first horizontal okay now now that you know the difference between the left and right vertical and this imaginary horizontal piece you need to now understand that this right piece is coming from underneath the horizontal and the left piece here is coming over this horizontal so this piece here is going over the horizontal imaginary one and this right piece is coming from underneath the hor imaginary horizontal so what we always do when we are weaving is we always lift we always lift the strand that is coming from underneath and that's this one so we lift this one okay so let's lift it and hold it down with the thumb okay just to get that again the right piece you lift so that we can feed in the horizontal sorry I actually had this piece on the right hand side so it's just on the side here and just flip it over halfway and let it fall down like that okay so let's have a look at that so now the horizontal piece is actually the second one remember we have a, a an imaginary horizontal here's the first 
this horizontal is the second one. Now what you can see is this horizontal is and the first one is going over the right vertical. Now it's going under the right vertical. On the left vertical strand, uh, the horizontal piece is going over. It's now going, uh, the horizontal piece went under and now the horizontal piece is going over. And that's all it is. But what you've gone and done is you've now switched the under, the vertical under to the left hand side. So we always lift the one that comes from under the horizontal piece, the vertical. So this vertical here is coming from under the horizontal. So we lift this one. We don't lift the right to feed in a new piece because it, it exposes the horizontal. We don't want to expose the horizontal. We want to fasten the horizontal so that it's secure so that when we're weaving in new pieces they are tight and that's the reason why we only lift the vertical piece that comes from beneath a horizontal piece which in this case is the left vertical piece so again holding down with your index fingers lift with your free hand if you can hold down and get in the habit of using your thumb or all your fingers for that matter we're now using our left hand to add the new piece in. I also have some strands on the left hand side. So, notice how my finger, my third pinky, fourth pinky are holding down that new horizontal piece. I can let go with my thumb and fasten that new horizontal piece down. You notice that it is loose, that's okay, but as you become more proficient with your finger placing, which is why it's very important that you get your finger placements correct, um, you will not have a problem with that, okay? So what you can see now is you have two vertical, one, two, and you have two horizontal, one, two, plus your imaginary one, okay? don't really have to count your imaginary first one it's just so that you can understand um, what's happening in the beginning and every piece of your weaving okay so there we go should look like that if it doesn't look like that you've got all the time in the world to pause rewind and do it again um, but as always, I'm on this uh, learning journey. This is my first um, video and kind of teaching people in step by step without missing any details. So put the feedback in the comments uh, or just let me know how you'd prefer me to explain. Okay, we'll add one more piece. So knowing that this first left hand side is over the top of the top horizontal and the right vertical is beneath the top horizontal which piece are we going to lift out of the two horizontal pieces to feed in a new horizontal two vertical two vertical yep the right one reason being because it's coming from beneath a horizontal we only lift the one that comes from beneath a horizontal so because this vertical strand is coming from beneath the horizontal uh, we are going to lift this one you're going to need to remember that because we only have two verticals now but in a piece you could have hundreds maybe thousands of vertical pieces and horizontal pieces and that simple knowledge of remembering to only lift the piece that is coming from beneath may sound complicated now but will actually be very simple as you move forward cool so we now have more horizontal pieces than what we do vertical so we can just leave it at three you don't have to stop at three 
uh, you can continue adding more horizontals but you should make it a good practice to have an even amount of vertical and even amount of um, horizontal pieces during your um, novice stage anyway so you now have an option with what the next step what we've done now is we've started with the one piece and created two vertical we've identified the beginning triangle with which is over and under the imaginary horizontal we've fed horizontal pieces into the vertical uh, we've identified that you only lift the vertical that comes from beneath a horizontal so there's actually quite a lot that you've learned with with only one two three four strands of material um, so that's why I've split them up into separate videos it's not that I'm wanting to keep information from you or give you inf information when I want you to get it it's because there's information in detail that I think is very important uh, for your successful learning and probably a good time to remind you I'm giving up my time um, for the passion of weaving so I can share this knowledge with you. Um, all I ask for return is that you subscribe and press that notifications button so that you can be updated with the next videos. Okay, now we're going to create more vertical um, strands, all right? We're not going to feed in new ones. We are going to redirect the horizontal um, strands pieces to become vertical okay you do have the option of starting from the left or the right but what you need to know is just like the beginning here how we folded the two sides differently remember here we folded uh, up and down on the left and then we folded out and up on the right hand piece vertical piece we are going to do the same with the, the horizontal pieces so if we are on the right hand side we do exactly the same as we did with this piece if we're on the left hand side we fold exactly the same as we did with the first fold okay so that's all you need to remember is the right side is always the same as the first fold and the left side is always the same for as the first left hand fold they should never be the same okay right we'll start with the right hand side because I'm right handed okay now there's another finger formation there I think if you if you watch Star Trek and you're you're familiar with uh, Vulcans Vulcans use their fingers for a, a mind meld Star Trek live long and prosper so if you, you, your mind meld finger formation game is strong, you will be successful. <laughs> if not, you'll still be successful. <laughs> but I love Star Trek as well. I actually, funny enough, just watched the uh, series of Star Trek Enterprise, which was the first um, Enterprise ship to be created. It was came out in 2004 but set as way in the past before Kirk before Picard before Janeway um, and I just finished that season last week and that was amazing loved it if you're not a Star Trek fan it's never too late right so we're going to do this right hand side and we are going to fold it exactly as this first one. Remember, what we did was we twisted a little bit. You're starting to realize how we feed it up. Oh, look, there's a vertical. What? Yeah, you're almost there. You're almost there. So we are going to use your thumb and index the finger. You're going to twist it out and up. Even if you just do it like that, just so that you can understand what you're actually doing. It doesn't have to be tight right now at this moment. Just do things just so you can learn and understand what you're doing. I'll always take my time when doing a step. So for those of you out there who are fast learners and already doing it and going ahead, 
um, you can do that but just make sure that you come back um, when we are moving on so that we can move on together so moving out and up hold it down and if you want to move it closer you can't do it like this with real material you can't move the material like that if you're going to be using the low far what they used thousands of years to create sails to create their mats to create their curtains create baskets fans so resourceful these these women in Polynesia amazing okay there we go so as I was saying you can't do that just simply move it with the traditional material the little far um, you would have to actually bend it with your thumb so if you're using traditional material you would need to hold it like this and actually use your index and thumb to work together to get the crease in there all right now when you fold it over like this you need to pay attention that you've now gone over two pieces do you see you've gone over two pieces just so that you can place it in the right place but we aren't supposed to go over we're only supposed to go over this one and go under this one so let's go back you need to remember it's quiz time out of these horizontal pieces three which one are we going to lift this one here what are our rules we only lift pieces that come from beneath this one here is coming from beneath this vertical this one here we can lift that's the piece that we're working with so we're obviously going to lift that one what about this horizontal do we lift this one nope because it's not coming from beneath this vertical what about this one do we lift yep looks like it meets the criteria uh, we can lift this one so let's lift this one and what I do is I'm just going to zoom out here what I do especially in these early stages is I will lift and just just hook it under the uh, pinky finger all your fingers need to be used when weaving especially in the beginning in the beginning when the material is very susceptible to breaking loose um, when your piece gets bigger and bigger it kind of holds itself down so you don't really need to worry about the whole piece you only need you, you can then focus on we are actually working your piece might be this big and you might be working here you only need to worry about the pieces that you're working with but because our piece is so small we need to be conscious of the whole piece actually coming loose which is why we hold it down where we can so coming back to the fold uh, holding it with your pinky coming back to the fold we go out and up there you go let go of your pinky hold it down pull it down do you see there do you see you've now created on your way to creating a wall which is going to go in this direction or side I should call it a side so when you're happy that your vertical and your right angle is straight crease it we can crease it so that it can stay in place there you go you've now just cr started the creation of your side and you've woven your first um, vertical piece through your horizontal okay 
Now, your piece is coming together. We can stay on this side. Remember, there are two sides. There's this right side and this left side. They both need to be woven up. But we'll complete this one. Now, remember, we need to lift when using doing the new piece, new horizontal. We are going to do the same that we've done. Hold down with your index so that when you're lifting this, you're not lifting the vertical. That's why you hold this down. If you didn't hold it down, you move the piece. The less you move the piece, the less risk you have of imperfections. The more you move a piece um, without holding it down, the, the more risk you have of imperfections. Now, this piece here, we are going to fold out and up, facing up, so that you can uh, create a new vertical piece. But there's no horizontal that you needed to lift because you've come to the end. That's the reason why there's no piece that you needed to lift. So don't worry about that, remember? We're only down to two. This one's coming over. We don't lift that one. There's no horizontal piece that would normally come under. We have no piece to lift. That's the reason why you're not lifting a horizontal piece. But if you have woven more horizontal pieces, you would have had a piece to lift or pieces. But just keeping it simple. All right, let's go and do this last piece. Fold out and flip upwards. It's going over the horizontal piece. Let's move it in with our thumb. And when you move it in with your thumb, you're just putting your thumb gently underneath this bend, the fold, and you're pushing it, and you're kind of pushing and pulling with your index. Push with your thumb and pull the piece with your index. So you push with your thumb, pull with your index. Okay, there you go. That's a, that, that looks looks like it's straight all right let's fold that down cool you've now just created your third triangle for your first side one triangle two triangle three triangle these triangles represent a strand strand <laughs> one strand two strand three strand and that's how you count how many strands you have on your piece um, and you need to have the same amount on this side as that side. Uh, for this example, anyway. Now, you can hold it down. Let's have a look. There you go. It doesn't look too bad. See, the top piece is quite loose, but that's all right. Everything else is a okay. You have four pieces vertically. You have still have three pieces horizontally. Okay. We've done the right hand side. We're now going to go to the left hand side. Okay. So I now need to work with my left. I'm right handed. All right. This a perfectionist. You don't um you don't have to do that. I'm just Here we go. All right. Hold it down. Let's have a look. We have three horizontal pieces. We're going to do exactly the same as we did on the right side, but we're just going to fold the left hand side differently. The left hand side needs to follow exactly how we did the first piece. Remember, we came up and down. So the horizontal piece came up and down, up and down. But remember, we, we only lift pieces that come from underneath. This one's coming over the vertical. This piece here is coming from under the vertical. And this third piece here is coming from over the top of this vertical so 
we only have one piece that we can lift, which is this middle piece, right? And just like before, we're going to hook it under the pinky or whatever finger you have available that you're comfortable with, just to hold it down. We're going to grab the piece that we're working with. We're going to fold it, bring it up and fold it down, down beneath. Okay. Now, <laughs> this one's quite different on this side in how you secure that fold because you don't really need your thumb and index finger to work together, uh, work with each other. You can just push with your middle finger. Let's pull that piece down. You can just push with your middle finger and reinforce with the index. If I move the light in, there you go. Okay. Let's try this, sorry. Focus keeps. Okay, so again, we can hold down with this index so that we can actually maneuver the bend a bit more. I'm using my middle finger to make that bend and I'm going to use my index finger to secure it. Secure that fold, that crease. That's your first piece. Look at you! <laughs> so we have one, two, three triangles. We now have one, two on the left hand side, so we need one more. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we'll do the same thing. This piece now, because we've fed in a new horizontal, this piece now is coming from underneath. See how that changed? What? We can lift it because it's only a couple of pieces, you just use your thumb. Remember, up and over. Let it go, so that you can have a better picture of what it looks like. Index and middle finger, or whatever finger you can. Bring my thumb away so that you can see. So we can see the full picture. Well, we can get that piece in just a bit closer to the vertical. You can see that there's a bit straight and just press it down. There you go. Look at you. You've now created two sides. Two sides. One side, two side. One, two. And they're both equal in length because there's one, two, three. And there's one, two, three triangles um, to each side. And that's how you start your piece so i've learned quite a lot in this um demonstration uh, we've learned how to start your piece um, we've learned how to fold and create the beginning with your imaginary horizontal uh, we've created your two first verticals uh, we've then woven in uh, three horizontal pieces uh, we've then folded those horizontal pieces to become new uh, vertical pieces. We now have six vertical strands. And we've also learnt the right side is different from the left hand side when we are folding, but they both look the same. Um, we've also learned under and over and we've also learned a very important um, principle to weaving which is we only lift the pieces that come from under its corresponding horizontal or vertical strand so this is the horizontal piece here and this strand here this strand here and this third strand 
are all three coming from beneath the horizontal so those would be the pieces that we lift we do not lift the ones that come from over and there's a, a, a bit more about that as well so i hope you enjoyed this first video there's lots of learning here you need to remember them i'd practice if i were you um you can probably already see start to see the piece making shape um, but make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel please help me out so i can build a following in youtube do know that people are interested in these uh, videos um, and I will share with you my knowledge and everything that I know and everything that I continue to learn as I grow and as you grow within your weaving knowledge and journey as well. But thank you so much for taking the time to uh, tune in and looking forward to video two. Um, so yeah, that's it.